You know, in the last debate, my friend John McCain felt the absolute need to declare, Bobby, that he was not George W. Bush. <laughs> and just recently, John McCain actually, actually went so far as to compare Barack Obama to George W. Bush. I have a 10-year-old granddaughter. Her name is Finnegan Biden. She's cute as can be. And Finnegan, as she would say, she'd look at John McCain and say, hello. <laughs> you know, I mean, come on, John. John, John, John. And now John McCain is attacking George Bush's budget and his fiscal policy. But Johnny, where were you the last eight years? when you voted four out of five times for his budget. Well, I'll tell you where John was the last eight years. And it was a matter of principle. I'm not making this is not political. As a matter of principle, John McCain thought that George, he voted with George Bush 90% of the time. He believed George Bush was right 90% of the time. Just yesterday, just yesterday, it was reported that President Bush filled out his absentee ballot and he voted for John McCain. Well, I suppose that's what you might call returning the favor. <laughs> I, uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, look, John McCain, John McCain is the one who, uh, for the better part of this past year, has been saying literally, not figuratively, saying that, quote, we've made great economic progress under the Bush economic plan. That's what he was saying up until September the 15th. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's been very out of touch. Sarah Palin, Governor Palin's been very out of touch. And ladies and gentlemen, look, look, I know Halloween's coming. But John McCain, dressed as an agent of change, is one costume the American people ain't going to look at. On election night, forget the pundits and talking heads, drown out the static. Count the vote right here as it happens live as voters from around the nation weigh in. Check back right here, November 4th.